needs to smarten the fuck up. Like, this guy seriously needs to smarten the fuck up. This dude is facing... Second degree assault charges carrying a maximum potential for 10 years. If he gets uh, convicted, of course. Because way back in August... And I reported this in my original McGregor channel, but that shit got terminated so you won't be able to see it, but... This dude basically was, they're talking about like he was having an argument with like his brother and uh, in the gym way back in August, August 1st or something. And uh, Javante Tank Davis and his friend, uh, what's his name? I believe his name is, let me read his name. Uh, oh, Anthony Wheeler. They're talking about how, like, and Anthony Wheeler was, like, his childhood friend or something, and he was just there. He was at the gym, because I guess they were friends. He's talking about childhood friends, so they've known each other for years. And they said that his, Javante Tank Davis security guard, like, stepped, because he was having an argument with his brother, and I guess they were going to get into it. And his Javante Davis security guard basically stepped in to, like, prevent them from fighting, I guess. And then they said that out of nowhere, Javante Tank Davis went behind uh, his friend, or I guess his former friend now, Anthony Wheeler, and he just sucker punched him in the back of the head, he said, he claims. And he said he got knocked out from it. He said he, he, he didn't even see it coming. He was, he said, because he, like, he said, like, Davis just snuck up behind him and just uh, punched him in the back of the head. And he said then uh, he woke up in, like, the hospital or something. And they told him in the hospital that uh, he had a concussion. And that's why he was like knocked out. And now he's facing charges for it. Uh, this guy needs to fucking smarten up. I don't understand how some boxers can just be so dumb and ruin their career. I used to be a big fan of Javante Tank Davis. You guys know me. I, in my original channel, I used to rock his, uh, his avatar. I used to rock the Javante Tank Davis avatar. But this guy, I don't understand boxers who do this. You know, when it comes to boxers, they have the opportunity to be millionaires. They have the opportunity to be millionaires. And they fucking ruin it. Look at Javante Dank Davis. Say what you want about him ducking Vasily Lomachenko. I think he ducked him. But if you look at Javante Dank Davis, Javante Dank Davis is signed to a billionaire or close to a billionaire, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Javante Dank Davis has a billionaire high, you know, May Mayweather is really high on him. He has a mil millionaire talking highly of him. He was a former champion, right? This guy just got paid 600. This guy ha has only like 18 pro fights. He got paid like 600 grand, 600 grand to defend his belt against that nobody. 600 grand. That's more than half a million. I mean, this guy has the potential to become a multi, and he's only 23 years old. So at 23 years old, he's making... At 23, 22 years old, he's making 600 grand. He's making hella money. Are you kidding me? 22 years old, he's making this type of money. And as long as he's undefeated and stuff, he he has the potential to like be like I said, a multi millionaire. If he keeps winning, he'll make an another 600 grand. Then another like 1.2 million. Then 5 million. He has the potential to make earn all this money, change his life. And he's getting himself, and he's uh, just getting himself into all this trouble for no reason. It's kind of like with, with Adrian Broner when he got himself uh, in trouble by uh, punching that dude. He's like, that's why I said, I made a video on my original channel a long time ago talking about how he's the next, uh, Javante Tank Davis is the next uh, fucking Adrian Broner. He's, he's going to be one of those guys that he could have, but he had the talent to be something. But he fucked it up. He f fucked it up. I think that's really where it's gonna be. Come on, man. Don't. I think that's really what Javante Jank Davis is gonna be. He's gonna be that guy. He's gonna ruin his fucking career for nothing. And then, because right now he's undefeated, and that's why he's valuable. He's making that money. But the minute you lose that undefeated, uh, that oh. That's when fans start, like, betraying you and shit. 
And I don't know, man. It's not looking too good for for this guy. I think he needs to smarten up. He needs to realize that he has the potential to be a fucking millionaire, dude. A multi-millionaire. Why the fuck are you doing these these dumb shit to get yourself in trouble and get yourself, you know, facing charges and shit? When you could be a millionaire, man. By the time you're like 30, right? Like he's only 23. Like you have the ability. 10 years from now, you could just put in the work for 10 years. Retire when you're just 33, and, and you'll probably be sitting on like 500 million dollars, man. Are you kidding me? With someone like Floyd Mayweather, you know, supporting you and shit, you know, th you know, talking highly of you. This guy has that ab the ability to do that, as long as he just stays focused in boxing. Even in his last fight against that bum that I never heard of that he was fighting, he didn't look like he was concentrated in that fight. He looked like he didn't, you know, I know how Javante Tank Davis normally performs. He didn't perform to his best abilities in that fight. And I'm not saying this because I'm a Javante Tank Davis. Again, I've always said I've always been a fan of Javante Tank Davis. But I'm saying this because, like, he, he needs to smart the fuck up. Don't you want, like, don't you want 10 years from now to be worth $500 million? He has the ability to do that. But... He's just, I don't know, man. I love zombie games, by the way. I love zombie games. Zombie games are the best kind of games. I love ch killing these walk, these uh, walking deads and shit. These uh, walkers or whatever you call them. I don't know, man. I just like seriously think that he need to smart the fuck up. ASAP. A the fucking sad man. And that's all I have to say, guys. If you watched the whole video, I appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe. Please like the video. If you're a fan of gaming contact and boxing commentary, this is your channel. This is your channel, guys. That's all I have to say, McGregor Mouth.